Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here we successfully installed Laravel, right? So here we successfully created one of the project as e-commerce. So right now I want to do I want to install Laravel default authentication system. If you go to that Laravel official website, so here I have already completed this total part, right? And now I want to do uh, to um, create that default authentication system. And for the default authentication system, I want to use another package. So right now, Laravel uh, for the authentication package, you can use that Breeze. Okay, you can also use that as a JD stream. So right now, I want to do I want to um, work with the JD stream. So if you open it, so that is one of the another package. You can see that is redirected to the JD stream dot Laravel dot com. So for this project, I want to do I want to install that JD stream. So here, if you want to install it, uh, that is the installation process. If you go to that installation here, that is the installation JD stream. There is a composer. I have already installed that composer. So right now we are able to access it. That means that M composer required Laravel JD stream. Okay. So if you want to install that uh, default authentication system, that means everything actually ready made. That means you don't need to do anything for the authentication system, but literally we will customize it as per our demand. So first of all, I want to do, I want to install that JD stream. So I simply copy it. I copy it and now that is our project. And here I run our server with the PHP addition serve. So better I want to do, I want to create new one. So that is our directory. So into the directory area, I want to open the CMD. So that is our pro and that is our e-commerce, right? So that is our e-commerce. Better I want to make it a little bit bigger size. Okay. So then actually it will be helpful to you. So that is our project name as e-commerce. So now here I want to do and to paste it as a composer required Laravel JD stream. Now if you click as a enter. So now it will be uh, downloaded all that file from to the internet and it will be created some of the file in your project directory. So into the project directory in fundamental I have already discussed about that things with you into the route area into the web route. Here it will be created one of the new route and also into the API that means the app here it will be created one of the new file. Okay. So and also into the um, database into the migrations area you can see it's now created some of the um, table. So also it should be created some of the table. So here it may take a little time. You can see Composer <laughs> 2 is very much fast. As I told you, friend, how much fast it's already completed that total process. Okay, here you can see it's now successfully run it. And after that, I want to do, I want to also install that Laravel, um, that means the JD stream library. So if you want to install it, I copy it. There is a PHP addition JD stream install library. I copy it and also after this, okay, after this I paste it. Now click as enter so it will be also downloaded all that file from to the internet so make that sure you are connected with the internet and it may take little time so better when it will be done then i will come back again yes here you can see friend how much fast actually is installed that total process so live viewer is also now installed so now if you go to your project into the project now as you can see into the migration area it's now created some of the database table so here it's created some of the database table into the route area automatically it created one of the route as a middleware so with this by default one of the middleware as a auth i with the same term and there is a verified and when it will be verified there is a gate and the slash dashboard that means when it will be successfully logged in that will be our url or the slash dashboard and then into the slash dashboard dashboard it's re return view one of the dashboard page so that is one of the view page okay so and also it's created some of the file into the app into the action you can see into the action area it's created one of the 45 some of the authentication file and also it's created some of the jd stream file and also into the config into the config area it's created two of this file one is the jd stream another is the 45 okay so literally i will also sh discuss about that things with you so rust of all right now i want to do and to install our laravel default authentication system so that's all so here i successfully run both of this okay i successfully install that jd stream i successfully install that library and after that i want to do i want to also install um the npm install npm run dev so for installing both of these, make that sure you install that uh, Node.js as I told you before. So I have already installed that Node.js in my system. So right now it's perfect. So right now if you want to install it, you can install both of these with the same line. Uh, like here you can see that is also one of the common line as npm install npm run dev. So both of these I want to run it with that at a time. I copy it and here 
I paste it as a npm install and npm run dev. Okay, so now if you click as a enter, so now it will be install that npm. That means it will be install all that packages for the npm. That means here it will be created on the package folder. Okay. So friend, it may also take little time. You can see it's now downloading. So it may take little time. It will be created on the another folder. So better when it will be done, then I will come back again. Yes, you can see friend, our total things is now perfect. So there is a Laravel mix as a build successfully. So you can see there is a compile successfully and that is some of the file is now added as a into the JS, app JS and in a CSS as a app CSS. Okay, so that means if everything okay, it should be like look like that way. So there is a compiled and successful. Okay, that means this type of one of the compiled successful and also in our public. Into the public, you can see it's now created one of the JS as a app JS and with the CSS that is a app CSS. Okay, automatically it will be created, and also that is all that our library. There is a note module, all that library. You can see there is all that building library is now you can actually able to access it, so which is perfect. So that is the simple process. Make that sure you install that Laravel JD stream. I have installed that Laravel liveware and then I run that npm install and the run tab. And now we have to do we have to migrate it. So when you run that as a PHP addition migrate, that means whatever the database by default is now created into the database area, into the migrations, that, that is all the default database table. Right, so that is all the default database table. So now we have to do we have to migrate it. So before migrate it, we have to create one of the database. I didn't create any database. So better I want to continue this process in our next video. We'll create one of the database and after that we'll migrate it. Okay, so how can do that work? I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.